From time to time, the I-Team gets tips on government spending that viewers believe might be a waste of tax dollars. When we recently heard that a local city spent more than $20,000 on new snow plows, investigator Adam Walzer went to check it out. It's a common sight throughout much of the country. Snow plows digging communities out of one of the harshest winters in recent memory. The sight of these snow plows in their new home in Florida, not so common. This is over at Public Works. Oh, stop it. This is a joke. <laughs> these are the new Largo snow plows. You're kidding. Largo snow plows? That's right, Largo, not Fargo. Or, uh, That's a joke, right? No, no, this, the city bought two. The I-Team learned after a viewer tipped us off that two snow plows were ordered in July, costing the city more than $22,000. What are these things used for? For snow. Anything else? That's it. Since the last measurable snow here was in 1977, they won't likely be used for snow. Instead, city officials say they'll be used after strong storms, tornadoes, or hurricanes to remove debris from Largo's roads. When the police and fire departments are trying to come through and do emergency uh, search and rescue um, or emergency response, obviously debris in the roadway can stop them, flatten tires, and cause other problems. Public Works Director Brian Usher said the city began considering buying snow plows after hearing how effective they were in clearing tornado debris in Oklahoma and other states. Mounted on existing dump trucks, the plows cost far less than bulldozers or front-end loaders. A lot of small communities up north don't have lots of equipment, but they have lots of snow plows on hand, so they just started mounting them up and using them. Public Works officials say that with traditional heavy equipment, clearing roadways like Olmerton and East Bay could take hours or even days. But they say with the new plows, it can travel at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. That same task can be accomplished in a matter of minutes. Just plowing out the debris kind of thing? Gotcha. Okay. Would you have thought of that? I mean, it makes sense. I just think it out of the box. Um, they probably shouldn't call them snow plows then. Maybe debris plows? Oh, we're calling them debris removal plows. City officials said that they're the first plows of their kind in the Sunshine State, making it hard to even get a quote from a vendor to buy them. There were some dealers that, that kind of laughed at us and, and thought we'd kind of lost our sanity looking for uh, uh, plow equipment in Florida. There will continue to be some naysayers here. Get a bulldozer. They don't need snow plows. I can't say that I would buy them, but there you go. Usher says, however, he doesn't welcome the opportunity to prove his detractors wrong. We absolutely hope they never have to hit the road for their real purpose. In this particular case, the Public Works Department had good reasons to purchase that equipment, but that's not always the case when it comes to government spending. This story came to us because of a tip from a viewer like you. If you suspect government waste, we want to hear from you. You can email us at iteam at apcactionnews.com or log on to the iTeam Facebook page. I'm iTeam investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.